Hello, it's Felicity here from Zenly Star Tarot, the place for emotional healing and gain wisdom from tarot to navigate your life. This is a weekly love tarot reading for you all. And we'll look at the guidance from the universe on the topic of love without limiting to romantic love. And this is for the coming week starting from 15 of February to 21st of February. All the cards have been shuffled and I'll pick three cards. And we will look at the guidance from the universe on the topic of love without limiting to romantic love. Okay. Um, I will show you the card. Okay, I will show you all the cards first. And judging from the color of all three cards, you might get a feeling of this reading and how things are gonna to reveal to you for the coming week in order for you to heal. And so, um, what I'm seeing is that uh, the universe is asking you to cut the cord with the past. Maybe it's a past relationship, maybe the people from the past, and maybe the things or people that no longer serve you on your spiritual path. And so it's a little bit of a decluttering to do. And uh, it takes time. The universe is telling you that it takes time to cut off all this kind of uh, toxic connection with the people from the past or with the memories of the past. So instead of focusing on the past and, and then thinking about how the past will carry to the future or the present, the universe is guiding you to let go of the past because in order to move forward and welcome something new into your life, you need to let go. And maybe you will feel guilty about letting go or maybe there are some kind of uh, obstacles that you need to overcome before you are willing to let go. But then the universe is saying that take time. It does take time. So there's no need to force yourself to move forward when you're not ready. So um, acknowledge that you do not need to let go at once and you can just take time and understand the process of letting go is taking time and also to uh, take care of your emotion and jot down any kind of negative thought forms within you and also find out the reason why you are not ready to let go maybe uh, for emotional stability maybe uh, there's some kind of emotional need or some kind of support that you think that you can gain from others. But actually, um, the illusion needs to be broken because the universe is telling you that if you cannot find the peace or if you cannot find the fulfillment within yourself, if you do not deliver, develop your own true essence or you do not develop your own potentials within yourself, no matter what, no matter uh, what kind of situation or what kind of relationship you are having, you might not gain the 100% fulfillment. Otherwise, all those people who are in a relationship will be completely happy, right? So um, you have to understand that no other people or things or relationship can make you happy unless you feel you are happy and you are in the state of being of happiness within yourself first. And um, so um, things need to let go, things need to uh, go away and also there's a time to to cut away from those uh, toxic uh, things or people that no longer serve you and um, maybe there's some kind of uh, digging out of the um, things of the uh, emotional uh, clutter within your soul as well. It, it seems that maybe things are reflected to you and, and it concerns your uh, psychological hidden issues and then things will be brought up to you for you to face. So uh, remember that maybe people or situation will reveal the hidden psychological issues for you to heal from. And also, um, yes, um, uh, it seems that uh, there's some kind of uh, things in front of you. And if you can see these 
opportunity or things in a very op uh, optimistic way, you're able to play the tune and follow the universe guidance and follow the tune and rhythm of the universe rather than holding onto the past and not moving forward. You know, when you're not moving forward, actually you are holding onto the past and not moving with the flow of the energy that is sent to you by the universe. So you have to let go uh, in order to things to manifest for you. And if you are not letting go, and even though the universe is planning something new for you to manifest, and you are not able to manifest because you are not following the tune sent by the universe. So let go and you will see the positiveness. And so uh, there's some kind of the second card you see, the brightness is here. And, and so, um, it's about balancing and okay, letting go and understanding things take time to manifest and things uh, take time for you to let go and your psychological issues need to uh, take time to heal from, okay, to heal. So there's some kind of balance. Uh, balancing the emotions is all about your emotional health and psycho psychological healthiness in this. So, uh, as you can see, and I explained it in the previous uh, moments, and it's all about reflecting the darkness and to face the darkness. Maybe suddenly um, you feel that you are being kept in the dark, but then uh, it, it seems that the universe may send a lot of um, darker um, situation that um, in your life, and maybe you feel that, okay, there's a lot of um, darkness or negativities suddenly uh, push to your side. But then to see the light, to understand love, it is to go into the dark in order to understand human nature, in order to understand your own soul and to dig out of the, um, the junk and dig out of the darkness of your own soul in order to bring it out to the light for them to heal from. So when situation or people reflecting the darkness within you so uh, face it and when you are willing to face it you can see the light so uh, there's a lot of balancing to do especially concerning the emotions when your emotions are balanced and you are able to uh, see the positiveness in life and um, also, you will be able to rekindle the passion, to rekindle the positive energy. Right now, you feel like uh, a lot of negative in your life or you see a lot of darkness in your life. It is because you have not rekindled and you um, need to keep going, actually. So here you can see the candle is not being let up, you know, you have, have to light a candle. So uh, what you can do to face the darkness is to light a candle, rekindle a passion within yourself and to f to have the strong will to face because strong will is the, the fuel, the, the strong will is related to the power of the light. So you need to have a stable, strong will to keep going no matter what. When you keep going, you rekindle your passion. You have you rekindle the strong willingness to face any kind of obstacles in your life. So rekindle your passion, rekindle the light, rekindle the fire energy in yourself, and cooperate into the water energy as well. Water is emotion, so water combined with the the strong will is fire. You know, so you have to have the strong will to keep going. That is the masculine energy, and then emotional. Um, energy, you know, emotion is the, the water element. So, and you have to combine the water emotional uh, intuitive elements into your strong will in order to uh, overcome any kind of challenges and obstacle in, in your life. And so try to balance it. And uh, then you will see the future is blossoming for you. If you have the strong will, you cultivate your strong will to keep going, to overcome any kind of challenge, to take action, to overcome the challenges, you will march, you will march forward. And then um, you will have the emotional stability as well. So, um, so people talk about EQ. EQ is what? EQ about remaining the strong 
unstable emotions, no matter how uh, difficult life is. So, and also the strong will is the powerful uh, element for you to success, for you to nurture your emotions. So, uh, emotions and strong will coming together for, for the following week. So, cultivate that. The universe is helping you to cultivate this kind of element in yourself. So, um, I hope you enjoy this reading and follow the guidance from the universe and cultivate your emotions balance, your emotions, your intuition for yourself, the feminine energy in, within yourself, and then combine your masculine energy, strong will, strong power, stable will, stable intense focus for you to success, for you to march forward, and for you to manifest, and for you to face any kind of not darkness or negativity that is placed in front of you and be able to see the light and rekindle your own passion, rekindle your own light within yourself so that you remain 100% balanced both in your emotion and your strong will. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. For personal reading, please click the link in the description box below. Thank you. Bye. See you next week.